from the Tribune News Network. This is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. Monday's top stories. The government now turning its attention to the vaccination of the country against the coronavirus. The Prime Minister Minister is leading the way. He was among the first to get his first shot yesterday. And he's confident this could lead to a return to normal by the summer sometime. What I am looking forward to is for us receiving the remainder of the vaccines so that our entire population can be rolled out as quickly as possible. I would like to see our entire populace back to normal um, May, June so that we can um, commence whatever um, things we've done in the past. A little over 100 persons got their first shots yesterday. Nurse Ruth Bastian was the first. Dr. Marceline Del Regia, Special Health Advisor, Health Minister Wells, and Mrs. Menes among the group. The minister was impressed with the initial turnout. It is a very favorable, positive, exceptional response. Uh, despite all the noise in the marketplace uh, from those who are anti-vacciners, we can see that a lot of the Bahamian people are uh, wanting to step forward, willing to step forward to be able to uh, take the vaccine. The rollout process begins in earnest this week with healthcare workers among those eligible first. They are using a registration process beginning on Wednesday. And health officials have announced that none of the first 20,000 doses will be held for a second shot. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. When will more vaccine be in the country? Officials are saying they expect another shipment before the end of the month. Yesterday's exercise was called a pilot process. Not everyone is happy about it. Officials of both the doctors and nurses' unions say they were not consulted on the rollout despite the significant roles their members will have to play. One union official describing yesterday's event as a poor example of how affairs should be conducted. Health Minister Wells defending, he told the media the most important persons were consulted. Police are looking into the fatal shooting of a man by an off-duty police officer here in the capital over the weekend. The officer is claiming that the man attacked him with a baseball bat in the parking lot of a plaza on East Street South. The death has not been classified at this point. A man is dead after a jet ski boat crash off Athol Island over the weekend. Police are looking into the circumstances. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management. No systems in the area. Mostly sunny. Highs from the upper 70s to low 80s. 78 at Freeport, 80 in the capital, 81 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories, winds generally 10 to 15 knots, the seas 2 to 4 feet. The next tide is a high around 10 this morning, next low about 4 this afternoon. Turning partly cloudy tonight, lows from the upper 60s to mid-70s. For complete weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call Insurance Management. They offer a wide range of insurance products. Give them a call today for all of your insurance needs. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than insurance management. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. Let the Bahamas and the world know that you're open for business by advertising in the Tribune and on Tribune242.com. Reach the market that'll get your cash registers ringing by calling 502-2394 today. All professional advertising agents are on hand to customize packages just for you and consultations are free. Give your business the maximum exposure for an affordable investment and let us help you increase your sales. Call 502-2394 today. We're open for business. Let the world know you are too. The Tribune, the people. Paper, biggest and best. Monday's World News headlines The U.S. continues to vaccinate people up to 3 million per day, and the coronavirus numbers continue to come down. But with a number of states now easing restrictions, health officials are warning there could be another surge coming there. Thousands of persons are traveling for spring break, especially to Florida and Texas. There are still corona issues elsewhere around the world. Italy is headed back into lockdown because of a surge there. And new restrictions are being put in place in Hong Kong. There's another major winter storm hitting the U.S., bringing heavy snow to the Rockies and causing major travel issues again. The storm will stay to the north of the country. More than 30 persons died in continuing violence in Myanmar on Sunday. Anti-coup protests continue there. Tribune's gas tracker prices to start the week. Shell 452, SO 452, Rubus $4.52 per gallon in the capital. 
Now your sports notes, brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. Plenty of sports news from the weekend, including the latest on Buddy Heel and DeAndre Ayton. Back in action in the NBA following the All-Star break. The college basketball tournament ready to go. The brackets announced yesterday. There's an update on Kai Jones also. A nice moment for bodybuilder Serena Dacius Norius in Florida over the weekend. Find out what she did. There's track and field news about behemoths in college in the U.S. You get all of the Major League Baseball spring training news in the Tribune Sports Monday. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online all day at Tribune242.com.